What is up everyone? Razor here. Welcome back to Star Ocean Second Evolution for the PSP. Let's continue through the Maze of, maze of Tribulation. Uh, we're on floor number 7. So we're this halfway done. Here goes. Because this place has, what, 13 floors or 14? Actually we're on floor 8, my bad. I thought we were on floor 7, but I'm actually farther ahead than I thought I was. We're on floor 8. Anyway, let me... Opera, you're in a very bad spot. I see you over there, like right in the middle of those two knights. Way to go. Anyway, I'm using a spectacles here. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, these are star protectors. I guess you could say they protect the stars. <laughs> Uh, the problem with these night enemies, they like to block a lot of attacks and stuff. And just... But, watch this. Run up on them and use the Eterna. And the Eterna can take them out pretty quickly. Yeah, see? I think it's worth 80 out of 100, though. That's, what, that's one thing I liked about Star Ocean 5. There was one of the characters, like, I think that's worth 80 out of 100. I didn't play Star Ocean 5 very long, though. I'm not gonna oh, we got another new enemy here. Man, I hate how my spectacles are already at the bottom. Phantom Devil. Throwing out five bombs now. That's one for us. Kind of insane. Pretty close to maxing it too. I'm thinking like 700. Oh yeah, one thing I need to mention something. If you go to skills here, you'll know you're missing two, right? One of them's backstab, or I think it's backstab. Um, we get it later on. For defeating one of the bosses in this area. Also, the other one you're missing is Taunt, but they removed it from the game. Um, it was It's not in Second Evolution. They removed it. So, I guess it was like really pow powerful or something. I've never played the original game, so I wouldn't know. But I'm guessing since they removed it, it must have been pretty powerful. Probably some sort of but uh, some sort of like way to abuse it or something Your guard down. and we got yet again another an, another new enemy uh, vile hound I hate how the AI gets right in the middle of the enemies it's not a very good idea to do that I'm only using Sword Bomber because I've already mastered the mirror uh, mirror ability. It's actually really good against the, the Dreamcasters though. Claude went up a level. <laughs> I've already mastered all the skills too, so I don't even need... Um, to do anything with that anymore. But yeah, the Eterna just destroys, like, like destroys the enemies. Like, not even joking around. Like, it just like decimates these random battles. This is bad. Anyway, the gimmick of this area is food. You know, a scumbag slayer there. That's nice. The enemy is getting a little bit tougher though. I do want to equip uh, uh, the Might Ring or whatever it's called. 
Or do I want to equip a Tri Emblem? Tri Emblems are kind of trash though, honestly. I just want to equip a Might Ring, I think. Or is it Ring of Might or... Oh, it's Meteor Ring that you, you equip with the... Yeah, you equip the Meteor Ring and the Ring of Light Speed. You get uh, three attacks, basically. Well, an extra three attacks. Looks like a fake wall here, probably. Yep. Yeah, I'm just going to equip the Ring of Might just to get 4,000 attack power. Those enemies are getting Omoba Soup. That's a new item, I think. I don't think we've gotten that before. No, we haven't. A thick, weird looking soup. Perhaps trying some might open up a new culinary world. Or it could kill you, one or the other. Another seraphic garb. Which is kind of bad, honestly. Compared to the battle suit, it's pretty bad. Well, I mean, it's not that much worse. But and it does like increases in defense in direct proportion to the wearer's HP. I guess it might actually be better. I'm not sure. I have one. I guess I'll equip one on everybody then. Yeah, it's only one a little bit weaker, and it says it increases. In defense, so yeah, we'll just give everybody a ser seraphic garb. That's fine with me. As for levels, we're level one, almost level 140. The max is, I think, isn't it how always been 255 in the Star Ocean games. Hope it is locked on us. Holy crap. This is bad. Here we get Slimy Gelatin and Ooze Cocktail. I'm not sure if I gotten those or not. Yeah, I've already gotten those. Go back here and grab this. Okay, another mind healer. I right, scale somersaults level nine hundred or nine oh three now. Almost got it maxed. Aha. Wonder drug. Don't need any wonder drugs. I do too much of that in real life. I'm kidding. Huh? I don't actually do drugs. Never have. Actually, that's not true, but... Let's not go there. It's been a long time. Let's just say that. Don't do that crap anymore, that's for sure. For <laughs> Get some levels up there. Okay. Legendary or Toro. Mallet Charm. Present me with the finest dish you can think of for me to taste. 
Alright, so we see a list of food here. And we gotta give him food until he says, is that all you eat? And then, then we have to give him something that's not food. And it takes away, it takes him out of your inventory, I think, as well. But we can just make more of these later, I think, so. Come on. Taking all my items, dude. Strawberry rice cake. Filet mignon. Is this all you had to eat? I truly pity you. Alright, so now we gotta feed him something that's not milk, uh, not food. So mandrake. <laughs> it's puffy. <laughs> Eating all of our food and then get choked. Okay, so I lost again, but I'll be back, I promise. Yeah, I'm sure you will. I think she's going to be alright. I still don't get her obsession, though. <laughs> Why did that make the door open? Who knows? Ugh, my stomach feels so bad. Yeah, well, that's what you get. Anyway, let's not go that way yet. Um, wait, which way did we... I want to go the other paths first. If I, okay, I already went that way. Alright, so... Let's see. Yeah. Um, where does this path lead to? Oh, is this back at the beginning? I think this is back at the beginning. Yeah, we already went that way. So we need to go take the northeast, northeast path. Yeah, to take those knights out really quickly, just use the Eterna. Like, it practically kills them in, like, one hit. So, okay. Alright, we're good. We just gotta go down here to the boss. I have no clue what this thing is. Eesh. That thing looks nasty. Am I supposed to fight it? If it's boss time. Against? I'm winning this one. What's this monster doing here? So this enemy, uh, what these enemies like to do is they swallow an ally and then they, it'll instantly kill them. Obviously not going to get a chance to swallow though because we're going to be keeping them stunned too long before... So they'll never be able to do it, pretty much. Or it'll never be able to do it, I mean. There we go. That was it's easier than I thought. 82,000 EXP and 42,000 full for defeating it. It'll be all me from now on. A bit stronger. It'll be all me for now on.
All right, there we go. It disappears. And we get gelatin steak. Now, just think about that. Gelatin steak, right? That sounds nasty. Imagine like a gelatin inside of your steak. You're eating it, right? And you get like gelatin flavor. Nasty. Alright, we got doing to me here. I'm not going to be able to use a spectacle on them, but um, I'll show what their name is and everything. Well, I guess I could use a spectacle on them. I have four of them. Phantom Mollusk. Double slash is kind of bad. I don't know why I'm even using it. It's probably pointless. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use double slash. That's just not worth it. I mastered uh, the meteor, or not the meteor, but the um, knuckle bomber, or sword bomber, I mean. I guess we can try Knuckle Burst. Probably pretty bad as well though, right? But... No point in using moves that are already maxed out, you know? Alright, we got What's two new enemies here. here. What's this monster doing here? Uh, it's a dungeon, there's monsters in the dungeon. Darker Tree's King. And Robinette Captain. Does it have a long range version? It's kind of bad, the short range. That move is terrible. Worst move in the game. These cockatrices are annoying because they turn you to stone, right? They pretty much, pretty much a guaranteed turn you to stone too. If you don't have protection against it. If you protect against it, then yeah. But yeah, it's like really bad, obviously. I should not be using, um... It's risky to try to escape too, cause... I guess I'll try. I might get turned to stone here though. Yep, game over. Of course. I have, uh, what's her face? I'm back here, by the way. I have what's her face using, um... I loaded up my save or whatever. Um, wow. I'm having Cesaro use missile strikes, so she's kind of pointless at this point. This move does a lot of damage, but it's like so it's very slow. Um, but it does do a lot of damage. Anyway, I'm gonna open this chest to the right side, and then I'm gonna we'll continue to the left side. 
I'll be right back. I'm just going to open the chest we already opened. Yeah, the other chest is a Valiant Boots. If I didn't show it off, I'm not sure if I did or not. But uh, They boost your movement speed. Uh, but not as much as the Bunny Shoes. But we're still going to equip them. Because they boost defense by a lot. Alright, we have another new enemy here. Or may maybe this is a new enemy, I'm not sure. I might have shut this enemy off already. Uh, Brigand Ogre. Knuckle Bomber's safer against those uh, uh, cockatrices, though. Resurrection Mist. It's also good to attack the cockatrices as well and have the Eterna take it out, take them out. I think I'm going to equip this on um, Reyna and with a flexibility. That way uh, she could be immune to petrification so I don't I can keep having her use condition cure or whatever um, to keep our party alive. This looks a little Those rough. cockatrices are don't annoying. Like very annoying. Anyway this is the way out uh, the way to the next floor but Let's continue on here. There's still more chests that we need to get. Because the only time we die is if all four party members get petrified, right? So if I have the flexibility on one of my characters, um, we'll just stay alive. When do they I can also go back to double slash as well to power, power it up. There we go, Wonder Drug. I got 711 on healing, uh, I mean, Blizzard Swirl. I do need to eventually train Healing Star, I believe. Yeah, it's a lot of the abilities that I'm using now are just trash. Um, I think, I think we got all the chests, though. I think the other path just leads, oh, leads to a dead end, I believe. Or not that in a minute, like it leads back to uh, where, uh, to the beginning of the area. But I'm going to go back just to make sure, because I want to make sure I didn't miss any chest. Now nah, see, it's just, okay, it's just back here, alright, so we already went that way anyway. So we're good, let's continue. I'll meet you guys this back in that room where the coffin's at. And we'll go to the next floor. Alright, I'm back here at the coffin room. All right, head down here. Moment of courage. All right, guys, that'll be the first episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode, and later.